What's up YouTube, jail folks from Road Angler TV. Welcome back to the channel. For today's adventure, we are out on Watts Bar Lake here in East Tennessee. This is gonna be my new home lake. My parents just bought a house over here and I'm super excited. Got to rig up my kayak last night for the first time ever, really having a place to actually rig up my kayak. We're about to go do the maiden voyage for the Flint 2.0. I've got the pivot drive on there and everything and I'm in a pretty awesome little cove over here there's a ton of docks and rocks and all kinds of stuff and the water is completely flat right now it's about 630 so the Sun is just coming up we should have a good time y'all stay tuned all right we're back out on the pivot drive well we know that she floats I'm gonna try standing in this boat. Uh, yeah, we can stand a little bit. Let's see. I might throw the baby bush out around. That was a big fish that just jumped. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some dock fishing. I'm going to throw this worm on here, and uh, I might try a jig as well. I might tie on a jig. All right, guys. First Watts Bar bass. He kind of choked it. All right. Got it. All right, guys. First Watts Bar bass. Let's go. It's probably like a, <laughs> probably like a 14, 14 to 16 inches, probably. Something like that. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the ride. There's a beaver, y'all. Might splash at me. That's a beaver, all right. Awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I was not expecting that. There we go. Oh, it came out. That was a fish. He was running away with it. There we go. I got him. Oh, that just break me off. That just broke me off. That might have had teeth. 
the heck? That's just, that just broke me off, y'all. That was like an instant break off. Like it had teeth or something. I don't know. Could have been frayed. I don't know. That was weird. All right, we're going to tie back on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good one. He's pulling me. Maybe a small mouth. I don't know. It's a good one though. Look at this. He came up and ate that worm like top water. He's got me wrapped around something. Don't get off. We gotta yank him out of here. There he is. <laughs> That's a large mouth. It's a pretty good one. Here we go. It's a good one. Oh yes, let's go. It's a big one. That's a big one. That'll be a good fish for the Stanford tournament. Let's get our net. Let's go. <laughs> That is a good bass. Let's go. Oh, let's go. That's a chunk, y'all. That is a chunk. Oh, look at that. Hook coming out. Let's freaking go. Let's go, guys. That's a chunk. Oh, he hit that on top water. <sighs> Let's go, guys. All right, let's let him go. That was an awesome eat, awesome fight. <laughs> Why we are out here, folks. Woo, that's a good three, four pounder. See you later, bud. Awesome. Some bass. Let's go. All right, all right, we got three here. There we go, guys. Like a 12, 12 inch, something like that. All right, got him on the crankbait. All right, you two. Well, I had an awesome day on the water today. Great maiden voyage with the new New Canoe Flint. Uh, caught three fish in total. I could have grinded it out and caught a couple more fish, but it was getting pretty hot out and the bait kind of turned off. So I ended up calling it a day, but got on one really good fish. Uh, had to be at least three or four pounds, probably closer to four and probably close to like a 19, 20 inch fish, but would have been a good fish if I was doing a tournament, but not a bad fish for my first time here out at Watts Bar. It seemed like they were only pretty much biting the U-Vibe speed worm. And that was the only bait that I got any bites on today. Well, I've got two more days out here on Watts Bar. So I'm looking forward to catching some more fish. Uh, probably going to hit this spot again tomorrow and then a different spot the last day I'm here. But it uh, should be a good time. <laughs>
right guys, we're back out on the water. Same lake as last time, back at Watts Bar Lake. Same spot I put in last time as well. But this time, I'm gonna do some exploring and go check out some other coves that are down this way. Yesterday I came out here and did some fishing, but I had my girlfriend with me. So we just kind of hung out and enjoyed the beautiful weather here at Watts Bar. So I kind of put down the rod for a while. Didn't really catch anything, so. Today, we've got about, let's see, it's about four o'clock right now. I guess we got about five hours to fish, so hopefully we get on something. Y'all stay tuned. Let's go on the jig guys, on the freaking jig, that was awesome. Let's go, finally a bass, Woo, let's go. All right, here we go guys, first fish of the day. Got him on the jig, that was awesome. Let's go. All right guys, see you later bud. <laughs> that was awesome. Heck is this? I got a floater, guys. <laughs> Look at this catfish. <laughs> oh, he's got a chunk taken out of him. He's missing his whole tail. Wow. Wonder what took a bite out of him. That's interesting. All right, you two. Well, I had an awesome three days at Watts Bar Lake. It has been so much fun. What a beautiful lake. So much scenery on that lake and just an awesome fishery. Well, I'm back in Nashville now, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of fishing over here at the dam and with some friends around town. But I'm going to be back at Watts Bar at the end of the month, and then I'm heading to South Carolina for a run over there and playing a festival over there. And I'm going to be doing some fishing as well, so I plan on bringing my kayak too. And then after that, it's going to be a lot of fun. On 4th of July, I'm going to hook up the trolling motor that I just bought. I'm really looking forward to doing a video about that. And finally getting on the water with a motor. I've been wanting that for so long, so I'm really looking forward to that. But it's just the beginning for these adventures in East Tennessee. I'm looking forward to fishing all over East Tennessee and not just Watts Bar Lake. I want to get out to Lake Chickamauga and a bunch of other creeks and rivers around the area. And I plan on meeting up with some other YouTubers and stuff as well. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.